Hey guys, it's Indai, and today we are going to watch ReZero, Season 1, Episode 13. But before we do that, let's talk about some things. So last time, Minasan, we found out, or I found out, that a new prophecy has been engraved in the Dragon Stone. So the prophecy was from the five capable of becoming the nation's new leader, choose one priestess to enter into a covenant with the dragon. So basically, the first four candidates were Emilia, Priscilla, Krush, and the girl with the purple hair. I still don't know her name. I did not try to search it since I'm afraid of reading spoilers. But yeah, and then my boy Reinhard presented the fifth candidate, and it was none other than our girl Felt or Felt Sama. I was really glad to see Felt last time, Minasan, and we also saw Reinhard, Romji, and the vendor, and we also met a lot of new characters. But yeah, I think I mentioned last time that there was something different with Felt. I think um, something's different with her aura or something. And like thinking about it now, Minasan, I cannot actually believe that Felt agreed to do this. So I'm really hoping that she wasn't bewitched or she wasn't brainwashed or something like that. And I don't really even know if Felt really has royal blood. Now about Subaru-kun, I'm happy that he did not die last time. I was kind of nervous. I thought that he was going to die. But I have to agree with what OK Noble Dev said. He said that um, Subaru-kun broke the record for the fastest person to break a promise. So I really do hope that Emilia Tan will forgive our boy. But yeah, another thing, Minasan. Um, Thank you so much, Saifsan, for what you shared with me in the comment section. I was really surprised with the conversation that um, was included in the manga or in the light novel. So now I am really curious about Al and our boy Subaru Kun. But anyway, without further ado, Minasan, let's just do this. Onigai Shimas. Ooh, felt some more. Huh? Oh, there's the felt that we know. <laughs> It does though. <laughs> Super cool. Ah, need on. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so she really doesn't know. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Oh. Okay. So that was the proof. How so? Ooh. <laughs> Aw, Felix. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anastasia? Is it the girl with the purple hair? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, don't. 
Is he allowed to say it? Yes. Hey. <laughs> Priscilla. Oh. Reinhard, my boy. Oh, he got to the time as Emilia Tan. Huh? Ooh. Ooh. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Crush. Felix. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Anastasia. Sorry, her name is Anastasia. Julius. <laughs> At least she's honest, though. Ah. Roswald. <laughs> no ailment. But he wants to slay the dragon though. <laughs> I love her. Ooh. What? Okay, I'm also pissed. Okay, it's not her fault though, I think. What? That's my boy. That's our boy. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Ah, Puck. Mm hmm. However. Preach, girl. Preach. <laughs> huh? Oh, don't die, boy. <laughs> Emilia Sama. <laughs> well, well, oh, the romantic rival. Oh, what is it now? Oh. 
Hmm. Henji wa Oh look at his eyes Oh Hmm Well, is Priscilla going to help him or, or what? <laughs> oh, just like that. Okay. <laughs> oh. Calm down. Calm down. Just don't die, please. Just don't die. Huh? Yes, Gramps. Yes, Gramps. Oh. Oh. Ki huh? Who is that? Huh? Rom G? What is it now? Oh. Oh no. What is it? Oh, she's smiling though. Ooh. <laughs> That's not what he wanted. Aww. Hello, MG. Okay, so go talk to Subaru Kun. <laughs> okay. Unmei. How to be felt. So blunt. Okay. Ooh. It's on. It's on. <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> He's not even complaining. How? How though? Do that do. Kieran. Julius. <laughs> oh. I don't think it's a good idea. Boy, I don't want you to die. <laughs> oh! Oh. Okay. Is this even allowed? <laughs> Much to my dismay. Sure. No, you have to calm down though. Okay. Oh, he might use magic spells though. Huh. Oh, oh, please don't. Okay, can someone please stop this already? Somebody don't know. At least he said the truth. Hey. <laughs> well. I'm against stopping this. Was? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, my boy. Oh boy, is he gonna die in this episode? He's gonna pass out. <laughs> so he wants to break the nose, okay. Oh no! Again with the shamak though. Wait, is he alive? Okay, he did not die. Oh, that's good news.
Okay. Hmm. Well. Oh. I love your honesty, boy. <laughs> no, you're done. She does have a point though. No, no, waterworks, please. She did. Okay, this is just so hard to watch though. But. Uh, she has a point. You did. Oh boy. Ooh. Huh. What is it now? What is it now? Oh, oh boy. Don't give up now, boy. Oh.
What just happened? This is a dream, right? I do appreciate the background music, even though I don't really understand the lyrics, but... Oh, the hoodie, the hoodie. Oh, it's done? No. Ah, okay. Lyrics, lyrics. <laughs> Stay alive. I'm sorry. Subaru-kun, please stay alive. I like that song, even though I didn't understand most of the words. <laughs> Oh. Okay, does this song mean does it mean that Subaru-kun and Emilia will totally separate? Okay, so they're going to live apart? Huh. Okay, now I'm nervous, Mina-san. Self-proclaimed knight, Natsuki Subaru. Yes, guys, that was ReZero Season 1, Episode 13. So before we end this video, let's talk about this heavy episode. So truth be told, Mina-san, I still haven't processed everything that happened in this episode. But I will do my best to discuss as many things as I can. So first, I want to talk about Felt. So I'm really happy because the Felt that I know is back. She was acting normal or she was acting the way she did when I first met her. And during the gathering, she was uh, she said things that were deemed inappropriate in that gathering. But I wonder why um, our boy Reinhardt, he didn't even try to stop Felt or he didn't even get angry. So I'm not really sure what the deal is between those two. But yeah, I'm really glad to see Felt. And then Mina-san, Romji showed up. And that actually convinced Felt to take the challenge, take on the challenge. And I really wonder, I think it would be very interesting if Felt would be selected. Don't you think so? So another thing that I wrote down is I really dislike it when they use the Emilia is similar to the witch card. So if she really was the witch or if she was related to the witch, Emilia Tan could have just cursed everyone then and there. So now as for our boy Subaru-kun, our boy just could not 
catch a break at all, Minasan. Everyone was pissing him off. And I do know, I, I understand where he was coming from. And yep, our boy was just not chill at all. Now, as for Julius, 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 I didn't like how he treated our boy, Subaru Kun. But still, Minasan, I would like to give him credits. I hope you guys won't hate me for this. But I'm going to give him credits because when Subaru Kun and him were fighting, Julius did not use magic or magic spells. So it was Subaru Kun who used Shama. So I was kind of surprised because I really thought that um, Julius would take advantage of Subaru Kun's weakness, but he didn't. So that's why I want to give him credits. Now it's time to talk about our girl Emilia. Tan. So first, Emilia is just so nice. She is so pure. And how can I say it? Like, in this selection, Minasan, in this selection, Emilia Tan was thinking about everyone else's sake. She wasn't thinking about herself. She wasn't thinking about Lord Roswell's sake or something like that. She was thinking about everyone. So out of the five, she had like the best intention, if you think about it. Our poor baby, she was trying her hardest to get everyone's approval. But yep, that gathering was just a big, big mess. Now, I do know that Subaru Kun had good intentions. He always has good intentions. And he was also trying his hardest to protect the people that are precious to him. Unfortunately, though, this time it did not work out well. It did not go his way. So I hate to admit it, though, but he wasn't able to help Emilia that much in this episode. So now, Minasan, I want to talk about the frame that I chose. So Minasan, I chose this frame because, like, yeah, their argument was just so difficult to watch. I did not expect it to escalate, for things to escalate that way. And this particular frame, we can see Subaru Kun's face being reflected in Emilia Tan's eye. And this was the moment when Subaru Kun told her that you should have a greater debt to me than you could ever repay. So I was very surprised with what Subaru Kun said. And now I am really nervous, Minasan. I don't know what's going to happen. And I, I have to agree with Emilia also, though, because Subaru Kun really did break his promise last time. So it's very difficult for Emilia to trust him again. And I, I do feel bad for our boy Subaru Kun because he cannot explain things in detail so huh i'm hope i'm still hoping for the best for their relationship but anyway now before we end minasan just one more thing that new song that new song minasan it, it's making me nervous because of the lyrics and it seems to me like subaru kun and emilia will live apart from now on i do hope that i'm wrong though i do hope that i'm wrong but yeah that's it for now minasan thank you so much for tuning in and i do hope to see you in the next episode Matane.